everybody, welcome back. So today, we're gonna get into the Kershaw Lucha. We're gonna put it up against and, and kind of compare it to the Benchmade 51, the Microtech Tachyon 3, and a couple of my other high-end flippers. This is a good entry level though, as far as I'm concerned, but hey, we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. For now, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this thing of why we're here, and let's do some flipping. All right, so here's your fast open. So you roll over. Y2K fan. So she's a good flipper for the most part. Definitely leaves some to be desired, but bounce back. Let's see, do the ice pick. Again, that heavy handle sometimes slows you down a bit. You need a lot of momentum to make her happen, but. So the Kershaw Lucha, so the journey really to start this video started a while ago. I heard Kershaw put out this Lucha and it made me really curious. Um, so I got it a few years back. Uh, true story, I, I won't put up the, the images, but I cut myself really bad when I was first teaching myself to flip with this because it is a tough flipper because it's heavy. All steel, by the way. So you're talking steel handles. Steel latch, this thing is heavy as an anvil when you flip it. Uh, full belly on this, stainless steel blades, steel bearings. So it's, it's a heavy knife. If you want all the tech specs, uh, go right on the Kershaw website. This is the Kershaw Lucha. There's several variations of them out now. But it's so heavy, I messed up one of my Y2Ks. I actually took this latch off. I lost track where the bite handle was. And I was doing a Zen rollover, and this thing clamped right down on my finger. Hard and really hard, and with this full belly on the blade... Uh, it lends itself to be a nasty cutter and uh, it cut me really deep into my finger I probably should have used stitches. So needless to say As much as I like this the retail on this guy is is gonna be Right around see the longer handle does lend itself So if one of those gets away from you don't worry I won't lose my my train of thought too much, but so basically uh, put price point on these right around $240 uh, That's the MSRP um, but the you can usually find them for 170 so as far as I'm concerned you want to stay away from a lot of those like county fair kind of uh, flippers and things like that just the, the really really cheap ones this is affordable I wouldn't call it cheap this is good entry level but uh, you can get a good look at the bearings there uh, it's got these bearing rollers uh, so you're you're looking at uh, uh, Zen pins I think you got your Zen pins here. It doesn't use the Tang pins like some of some of them do. So I mean, I'm a big fan of the Zen pins. Uh, it's got a nice look to this whole blade, in my opinion, um, and it is a pretty flipper. But again, just so so heavy. She almost punishes you and slaps you. It's slow. It's sluggish. So I hate to be giving this a real bag on it, but you know, it's I'm not going to be using this as my primary flipper. But when I got caught really bad with this, it made me skittish with it for a while. Uh, I got over that, and we're doing okay nowadays. But uh, definitely not my favorite flipper. She flips all right. She flips all right. But probably nothing I'm going to uh, do a lot with uh, outside of this video showing it to you guys. Uh, Benchmade 51, definitely my favorite flipper. But... Uh, the uh, tachyon, Microtech tachyon is also smooth, maybe a little too light. So, just wanted to invite you guys to come along and have a conversation while I do a little bit of flipping with this. So, that's the deal with this. Again, I've had a couple of years to flip with this now. Uh, as I said, definitely one of those situations where we started doing this. I got cut really bad with it. That's my story. Um, unfortunately, she, uh, you feel it on your finger when you flip this sucker a lot because she's just so heavy. It punishes you as you flip it. So I can't really give it a great rating for that. But if you're just learning, like I said, this is right there on the entry level. There's probably some accessories I would guess by now that you can get out to maybe lighten this up. Not sure. But uh, definitely I would still say my Benchmade 51 uh, is probably my favorite flipper. Um, without a doubt. So, 
one of these days, maybe I'll get into one of the BRS replicants or something like that. I haven't really gotten into a BRS yet, but I'd love to get a Blade Runner system eventually. So that's your Kershaw Lucha. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and cut out, and I will show this to you next to a couple of my other favorite flippers. Okay, so here we go. This is the Benchmade 51. This is my Morpho, and as you can see, it's the shortest of the three. I've got some titanium, uh, titanium scales on it, and it makes it just an excellent flipper. So all in, I probably have a couple hundred dollars into the scales, and uh, all in with the knife, I'm going to say, like, I don't know, five, six hundred dollars into this knife. Uh, pocket clip, you know, all that stuff. We're going to open these back to back to back to show you the difference with a single rollover and an opening. So then you've got the uh, Microtech Tachyon 3 here, also pocket clip. Uh, bearing rollers on this one. Uh, this one's washers. So a little bit longer, super light, aluminum handles, really good steel. Uh, it's got its own attributes. These are probably going for a little over $1,200 nowadays. I think I spent uh, 400 on this when I first got it, but they don't make them anymore. So they're all serialized and all that stuff. And then you got the Lucha as the biggest and heaviest in the bunch. So that's how they all stack up. So let's, uh, let's cut out and I will do a single rollover and opening of the three of these back to back to back to show you what that looks like. So here's your Benchmade 51 Morpho. It's going to automatically open when you squeeze it. Super light. Really fast. Just a great blade. Love this blade. You can see how smooth and fast that is. Also, it's decent for pocket carry. Uh, so there's your Benchmade 51 Morpho. As far as I'm concerned, if you're looking to just get into flipping, definitely that's the one that I would recommend. Uh, costs a little bit of money up front, but boy, do you notice the difference. This one just begs you to please flip me kind of thing. So there's that one. Microtech Tachyon 3. Also, spring-loaded auto opener. Right there on that tail. Super light, super, super light, almost too light, but nice sound to it. Really fast flipper, super aggressive blade, amazing steel in the blade. My only problem is I could do Y2Ks. I'm going to link a video to this before, but you start getting into your Zen rollovers. She's super light. She wants to come right off your hands, which kind of makes it a little dangerous. So, uh, I can't really give that my 1,000% seal of approval because it's a little too light. Really cool looking knife, as you can see, serialized and all that stuff. Uh, definitely retains their, their money value, as does anything with a Microtech, uh, especially if it's, a, if it's a verified purchase. But, uh, so, there's your Microtech. And then here's the big hoss of them, the Karshaw Lucha. You, know, you squeeze it, there's no auto open. So you gotta bring that big old hefty thing down, big old dangle. And then here's what this sounds like. As you can see, just a lot clumsier of a knife. Can't give it my full, hey, get this knife review. But, like I say, the price is definitely right coming in at a fraction of the cost of the other two that we just looked at. And, you know, it's not a bad knife. I mean, Kershaw, kudos to them for actually getting something out there on the market for us flippers. And uh, so the Kershaw Lucha overall, would I buy it? Eh, yeah, I'd buy it again. Just to try it out. The price is right. It's a great entry-level flipper. I'd see what there is for uh, accessories out there. I believe there's a few companies. Like I saw lighter scales and things like that. Uh, I myself have had this apart once. Like I said, when I took this dangle off. Uh, but definitely not something that... Uh, definitely not something that I'm going to put a whole lot of time or money into with this one. Because I've got two that I like a lot. But uh, so that's, that's my basic two cents on the Kershaw Lucha. And uh, definitely... Uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say on that. So until next time, we'll see you guys then. And you guys have a good one. Thanks so much for joining us for our talks, our gear discussions, and really all of our crazy adventures. So we're looking forward to getting back at it soon. The content's been uh, a little bit sporadic lately, uh, just due to some life events on our end. Uh, life happens, and we're just uh, a dad and a son doing content. And, but we always love having you guys along. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, if you enjoy our content. And, uh, hey, stay tuned, guys, because we're going to have some more stuff coming at you soon. So until then, thanks for being here. We'll see you. Bye now.